Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another reading. This time it's on Trisha Paytas. Now, all of my psychic predictions on David Dobrik have been coming true, and some of them were in my last Trisha Paytas reading, which I'll put a link to up here. And a lot of my readings on Trisha have come true. I predicted that she would do the Cooking with Trish series and a lot of the stuff that intertwined her with David. And my reading on James Charles is coming true, and there's a lot of stuff happening with that. So... I thought maybe now we can see what's going to happen next for our little Trishy. So remember that these readings are all alleged for entertainment purposes only. But before we get started, I have a little bit of a surprise for you. <gasps> Look, it's a box from Care Of. They were kind enough to sponsor today's video. Care Of helps you find the right vitamins personalized just for you. The products are formulated with good for you clean ingredients backed by science. They're transparent about the research and sourcing behind every single product. Care of has an eco-friendly mindset. The vitamin packs are compostable. There is information on their website on how to do that. Care of's holistic online quiz makes it easy to know just what vitamins and supplements you need to achieve your health and wellness goals. You'll be asked questions about your diet, lifestyle, and health concerns to address your specific wellness goals. This is great news because spring is finally here and this month is all about healthy resets. The switch to vitamin packs from bulky bottles is one way Care of has been able to be more eco-friendly. What can you do to be more environmentally conscious this month? And remember, use my code AND50 for 50% 50 off your first month at Care Of. Let me know what you guys are able to get. Okay. Ooh. Huh. Okay, I need to place the Emperor. Okay, so right off the bat, we have the Page of Wands, which is about expressing ourselves, speaking our truth. The Nine of Wands is walking on eggshells, and the Emperor's reversed. So for me, Emperor reversed is someone who got knocked off a throne. Then we see the Two of Cups, which is the separation between her and them. The Six of Cups, which is the past reversed. And the Six of Pentacles, which is inconsistencies. So I do see a backtrack happening for her based off of something that she said about someone. Right off the bat, I see a regret. There's a regret with someone that she knocked off like their throne, so to speak. So there's some sort of thing that she said or something that she did that she's definitely going to regret. Um, this seems to be like a healing moment because the Knight of Swords is about authenticity. Uh, that's like a knight in shining armor. So it's like good intentions. Um and like um you know help um the six of swords is reversed with the seven of cups so that to me feels like a backtrack that's like change but then it's reversed it's like something that stops the change the seven of cups is about being realistic about our approach um so to me there's some sort of wool over her eyes that will be revealed or at least there's some sort of understanding of why this looked the way it looked. I don't know what this means. Um, the Six of Swords says that it has to be something that's messy on the internet because Six of Swords is the internet, but does uh, Trisha Paytas, so that's going to happen because she's an internet personality. Um, but there's some sort of like healing moment. So this is her. She's the Queen of Pentacles of her. She's a Taurus, an Earth sign. The Knight of Pentacles, again, we see inconsistency in the Ten of Cups with, a, with someone who's like... So the Ten of Cups would be someone who's in our immediate circle. Think about like friends, like family. Um, we see that as like um, happily ever after, so a long period of time. So it definitely looks like there's someone here. Yeah, I knew it. There's a healing moment. Four of Swords is like a rejection and a healing of wounds. The Ace of Pentacles upright with the sun, which is about being happy and congratulating someone on something. So I wonder if that's where the reconnection will happen. Some sort of congratulations like, or some sort of reward financially or some sort of achievement. Um, maybe like an achievement post on social media or a shout out or something. I'm not really sure, but there's definitely a healing moment here with someone. Um, I'm actually really happy to see this. This reading is off to a great start. I'm so happy that's a positive start. Um, that makes me really, really excited. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, well, that didn't last long. I mean, it is Trishy, so... <laughs> there is a queen of wands here that is gunning for her extremely hard um i have no idea who this is oh 
Okay. <laughs> Okay, I know, I, I know who it is. The King of Wands is, uh, so King of Wands is um, fire, fire, a fire sign male. And the Queen of, Queen of Wands could be a fire sign female, but it's also like a very beautiful woman, but it's an aggressive woman. So when I first pulled this, I was like, maybe that's Nikita. And it still could be Nikita, but I'm going to pull later on for a uh, like direct connection between her and Nikita because there was drama with Nikita. To me, it looks like Three of Cops is jealousy. Um, so there's an accusation of her being jealous of this person. The five of cups is some sort of, uh, disappointment that she caused them. The temperance card is about what's fair is fair. So that means that this person is going to try and bring up some, st some shit about her. The star is about embarrassing her. And then the high priestess is about, um, it's about like exposing someone because we see that as like a break of trust. And then the King of Wands is who it's around. So to me, that's David Dobrik. I think this is David Dobrik. So the Queen of Wands has to be someone that's around David Dobrik that is pissed off at her and is jealous or is going to say Trish is jealous of her. Uh, the Seven of Wands is verse with the Eight of Cups here, which means that this person, um, Trish has made a slight at them. So it's a very confident, bold uh, woman. I think she might be a fire sign, but she doesn't have to be a fire sign. She just is pissed off. Um, and I think she's going to say something or do something. The problem I have with this is I don't know if she's going to be... I think it feels... Because when we see Seven of Wands reverse and the Eight of Cups, I just don't know if this person is someone that would do it in front of everyone. I feel more sneaky energy. Like this is someone who will use someone else to do it for them. Because the King of Wands is who they're loyal to. That has to be David. Um, so this person is just like fiercely loyal and thinks that Trish is like jealous of them. And there's some sort of gossip that they're going to people to get back at her this person is is sneaky so they do things behind people's backs yes they play naive um they definitely play naive uh the king of pentacles reverse and the king of wands is what well, I mean, the king of cups is upright so for me um this person is gonna oh my god they're going for ethan oh my god they're going for ethan this is frenemies Oh my God, they're going for Ethan. Okay, so, oh my God. Okay, they're going to try and distract everyone and they're going to bring stuff up about Trish behind the scenes, but who they're really going after is Ethan. Trish is the distraction. Ethan is the next target because the fool is like naive. Don't be stupid and naive. I'm pulling the wool over your eyes. The King of Pentacles, I'm coming for your sponsors. I'm coming for your money. I'm coming for your brand. I'm coming for your business. And the King of Cups, it's Ethan that they're going for. So they're gonna try and sort of trigger Trish. So that way they can distract everyone to go after Ethan. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles is upright, which to me means that this is a solid plan. Um, uh, the uh, Queen of Cups is reversed and the Eight of Swords, which means they're trying to trigger her because this is Trisha's overreaction emotionally. They're trying to trigger her and trap her. Um, yeah, the Judgment card, the Moon, and the Two of Pentacles. They're trying to separate Trish and Ethan. Uh, that's the goal. That's the next plan of attack is to try to separate the two of them. Uh, the moon is reversed uh, and the judgment card. It's like if we embarrass Trish and, put, and pressure her, she'll say something and she'll cause the split between Ethan and Trish. They're literally going to try and trigger Trish to split, split them up. They're trying to make another fight. Mm -hmm. Petty, um, definitely trying to go after their money. And the ten of wands, it's because they went after David's money. So allegedly for entertainment purposes only, they're going to try and go after theirs. Yep, I told you they're trying to separate. They're trying to separate Trish and Ethan, and the, this is like her home and family. Then the lovers' card is a separation between the two of them. And the wheel of fortune is about um, some sort of um, like poor oppor poor luck or bad luck or opportunities or trying to sabotage that. So yeah, I also think they're going to be using their connections that they made in the industry to sabotage things between Trish and Ethan. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles in the world. It's like we've we've been dealing with this person for a while. It's been an ongoing thing. We're comfortable with them and we have power over you. So I definitely think they're going to try and, and do things behind the scene. This war is not over. I thought that the war between David and Frenemies would be over, but it is definitely not over at all. Uh, the Page of Swords is upright, the Knight of Wands is reversed, and the Hermit, which to me indicates um, uh, hot and cold energy. So it's like poke, provoke, pull back, poke, provoke, pull back, poke, provoke, pull back. I also think they're going to try and send someone to interview on frenemies or they're trying or they're going to try and see if they can get someone that they kind of know to gain information so trisha and ethan need to be careful about anybody they have as a guest on their podcast because that person will run and tell uh them 
all the tea. They're trying to basically get a double agent. Um, it's kind of dramatic, to be honest. And I know it sounds unbelievable, but I'm telling you that it's manipulative. The devil card, the seven of swords reverse, and the hangman. It's like you cause a massive failure and you will not let go of your grudge. So now we're not going to let go of our grudge. And this is a war. So I do think it's going to get uglier between the two of them. This is definitely not over. Okay, so I'm going to re-poll because I want to see what's going on between Trish and Nikita. Because they had a huge fight on social media. And I kind of want to see what's going to happen. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, not me dropping cards in my maid outfit. <laughs> I want to see what cards dropped. Oh my God, are we shocked? The Queen of uh, Pentacles and the Page of Wands. <laughs> are we shocked that those two fell? Trisha is an earth sign. And the Page of Wands about her talking crap, what she's going to do. Um, eh. I mean, we see trash talk between the two of them. The world is reversed, though, which makes me think that we've kind of seen what we've seen from them. It's just the same old, same old. The Seven of Pentacles is reversed with the Knight of Wands, which is just like the same crap is going to come up again. They're going to go back and forth with each other. The Five of Pentacles is reversed. The Judgment card, the Moon upright. That to me is about secrets. So um, I think that they're... <sighs> Judgment makes me think other people in the Five of Pentacles is like abuse of power. So I'm pretty certain she's just going to bring up James again. This looks like a rehash of the same stuff. Like, why are you friends with James and Nikita? You know, all this other stuff. Why are you friends with the those Lopez brothers or whatever? Like, it's the same stuff. Uh, the Four of Cups, the Nine of Swords versus the Nine of Pentacles. People are just going to be like, I'm bored. This is, again, bringing up the boyfriend drama. It's just like the same old, same old boring stuff. It's just trash talk. Um... I think that Trisha. Oh, okay, interesting. Nikita has said something about Trish and Jason. So there's something left over from Jason. Because Empress and King of Swords, so obviously King of Swords could be James as well, but we've already established that. So for me, um, there's definitely something between Jason and Trish that she's been talking about. Three of Pentacles, Justice Card Reverse, Nine of Cups Reverse, and Three of Wands. It's like, I heard this from someone else about the two of you. Um, I'm going to tell everyone I know about it, and it makes you look bad. So there's definitely something with Jason, yeah. I don't know if it's with Jason's ex or ex-wife or what it was, um, but there's something there that she's kind of talking about she wants trish to hear about this because she wants to piss trish off which is kind of kind of ironic um but yeah ten of swords is reversed towers reversed and three of swords um nikita knows what's gonna happen she doesn't care the ten of swords is like i don't care if people clown on me because it's like a self-sabotage it's like i don't care if people clown on me the towers reversed and three of swords which means she kind of thrives in this environment so i actually think what trish should be doing is just ignoring it um this is everything nikita wants she kind of just wants to troll her and push her so she can get her name out there um which i'm not gonna knock the hustle sis but that's that's what it looks like to me it looks transparent um but there definitely seems to be something with exes that nikita is going to bring up it might not just be jason it might be her other exes as well um, which is ironic because I think Nikita has her own drama there. But again, that's why I said ten of swords, self sabotage. I don't really care. So let's uh, move forward. So I'm gonna pull from another deck here. Um, let's pull from this one because this one gave us amazing results the last time. We're gonna pull from the Fairy Oracle deck.
Mother and daughter. Oh, wait. Green Man's Door, Portal to Fairy World, Wheel of the Year, Galactic Entry Point. So this is the beginning of something. The Merlin, Guidance, Mentorship, Teacher of the Old Ways. Wait. Light the Darkness, Ancestors, Ancestral Line, Generational Shift. These are new generations. Gatekeeper, Time Limits and Constraints. Secret doorway, working with intuition, second sight opening, dimensional doors. Another way around. I know that she's talked about being a little bit concerned about like fertility and things like that. Um, I really genuinely think that they're going to start to have conversations about how they can have children. Because this looks to me like discussing options, whether it be IVF or surrogacy and things like that. Um, because I actually do see story keeper telling your story. Like, again, these are all cards of like teaching the next generation. It's also about like taking care of things. So for me, yeah, solace. It's almost like, so like for what I see for this is like Trish has always wanted kids a certain way, but I think she's starting to realize that if it doesn't work and it's not going to happen like a natural way, she's now learning to be more open with her opportunities of how to have a child and what it means to have a child. I also see a mentorship opportunity for her. So I don't know if there's going to be something that they're going to do on Frenemies um, or if she's going to have like a creative endeavor. But to me, it looks like, to me, this feels like picking the new me follow me see like this is like it reminds me of like paris hilton's my bff so it's like finding my new best friend or finding my new mini me like there's some sort of creative project that feels like maybe like competition based or like she's like bringing someone under her wing or teaching someone something i don't know what this is but this is a it's a light energy which means like it's gonna come to fruition later on but it looks to me like it's an idea creative idea it's gonna be bounced around for a while and i do think it might manifest because it definitely looks like there's going to be some there's definitely some uh, what do you call that? There's like a, like a, I want to teach people, I want to help people. I also still see some sort of charitable act. So stolen her sleep makes me think of like, you know, all the allegations and stuff that's been going on, her special place, these two together. Obviously we know what this is with all the allegations with, you know, David Dobrik, James Charles, all this stuff. I actually see her doing something really, really charitable. I don't know if she's going to start her own charity with uh, maybe Ela and Ethan. I'm not sure, but there's definitely some sort of huge charitable thing that she's going to do. And I'm wondering if maybe that ties into the creative endeavor. Um, where they're gonna have this huge creative endeavor to kind of like donate to charity because it looks like that's where the next big like life changing direction for her is because I'm seeing maturing. Um, I also see Green Man's Bride, which is about getting married. Uh, so we see her getting married. And so for me, it looks like there's gonna be a transition in terms of like what she's done and what she's going to be doing moving forward. So I see a life switch for her, which is really good. Um, that's I'm I'm really happy about that. Um I'm not really seeing too much other craziness for right now. Um, we can revisit Trish in a month or so if we want. Um, but I think that about does it. So thank you guys. If you liked uh, watching that, make sure you subscribe down below um, and hit the bell for notifications when I upload next. Um, make sure if you also really, really enjoyed it, you can tip. There's a link to my PayPal down below. Um, and follow me, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok, Amphrodite. And until next time, bye, guys.